first thing that you're going to start with on a construction is always going to be a baseline. So draw a baseline of any length. Okay, the next thing we want to do, if we want to construct a segment AB, so AB is equal to X plus Y, what we need to do is take your compass and you're going to take your compass and you're going to pivot on one end of X and you're going to extend the distance, the width between your tip of your compass and your tip of your pencil so it reaches both ends. You pivot on one end point of X and you're going to make your pencil stretch to the other end of X. Now what you're going to do is take this, keep your compass setting the same, pivot on your new line segment, and you're going to mark that distance. What you've done is you have copied the distance for X. So we're going to go ahead and mark that as X. Now you're going to take your compass and you're going to go to Y and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to pivot on one end point of Y and you're going to extend the distance between your pencil and the tip of your pivot point of your compass so it reaches the other end of the line segment Y. Now you're going to come back and where the segment X ended, you're going to pivot on that point, and then you're going to mark that new segment length, which is Y. So we have X copied, and we have Y copied. So this whole segment is X plus Y. So you're going to label your endpoints. You have A, and you have B. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to construct another segment that's going to use subtraction. So I take this information away. Remember the word construct is always going to be referring to you needing your compass. Whenever you start a construction, you're always going to start with a baseline. So what we're going to do now is we're going to construct segment MP to be equal to 2y minus x. Our x is here. So we're going to start the construction the same way as we did last time. We start with a baseline, so go ahead and draw your baseline. Then we're going to grab our compass, and we're going to start with y this time. I'm going to come up to y and pivot on one end point, extend my compass so it goes from one side to the other, the other endpoint, the tip of your pencil, is going to be the other endpoint of your line segment for Y. Mark that distance so you can show me that you've marked it. Come down here and pivot on one of the endpoints of your new line segment. Mark that distance. Now, this particular segment wants 2Y, so I'm going to keep my compass setting the same. Scoot over to that new endpoint, and then mark that same length segment again. So what I've done so far is I've marked Y twice. Now I'm going to come and take my compass and measure the distance on X from one end point to the other. Again, I'm going to move my compass so it's pivoting on one end point of X. Extend it. So the distance between the tip of my pivot point and my pencil tip are on both endpoints of my X segment. Now I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go to where my 2Y ended. Now this is take away. So I'm going to swing this compass setting back in and I'm going to change pencil color so you can see that this is a different mark. I'm going to swing this back into the segment because I'm taking away from the 2Y. So this portion of the line here is X. So what remains is I call this endpoint M and this endpoint P. And MP is 2Y 
minus x.